decide to come here in Japan? I was really curious about Japanese culture. Mm. Uh, let's say that in Italy we have a kind of Japanese dream. Yes, I was really curious about also the your language, the, the language, mm -hmm. Japanese language. I yeah. don't speak Japanese now, okay. but I hope to learn some. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really appreciating uh, all the inner garden you have here in the temple or outside the temple. Mm. It's a so beautiful way to, to enjoy nature. Today I am with Jessica. You're from Italy. Italy. How long do you stay in Japan? Two months and two weeks now. What do you do? I'm here for an internship. I'm teaching Italian language to adults and to children. Do you know how to say cheers in Japanese? Kanpai. Yes. <laughs> okay, kanpai. How is Japan so far? I'm almost, I'm about to leave. Now I used to the oddities of Japanese culture yeah. and Japanese cities. Mm -hmm. uh, Tokyo is a special one since it's big, very diverse and um, a lot of city inside the city. Mm -hmm. I think Japan is uh, the perfect place for a tourist, yeah. probably not the perfect place for a citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> it's a country where it's not easy to live sometimes. Japanese people being very strict uh, to go to work. Yeah. What do you like about Japan also? Mm -hmm. Japanese people or mm -hmm. Japanese society? I think Japanese people are really kind uh, and willing also to let the other people know their culture so eager to defend your own culture but more like to spread and to show people it's a thing that I like they're not jealous about the culture some other culture are I think respectful, being respectful is the first thing Compared to like Western country, mm -hmm. what do you think about like Japanese personality? Is that maybe of course it's different mm -hmm. of each country? What's the thing that you kind of impression about Japanese? I think in general here, people are shy, probably shy, reserved, silent. So it's it's hard to get to know a Japanese person. Uh, when you get to know one, uh, they're really fr friendly. Uh, Actually, another day I had been interviewing to another foreigner, mm. and he asked me like, "What do you think like, if the foreigners talk to Japanese people?" Mm. Um, so I'm gonna ask you in the opposite. What if Japanese people talk to foreigners? What do you think on the street? <laughs> I would consider something weird. Japanese people don't usually have uh, to other Japanese people. So um, this talking, this one is talking to me just because I'm a foreigner. Uh, I would maybe have some prejudice. Like, what do he want from me? <laughs> what? Do you have any questions to Japanese people? Maybe I have, but it's too hard like, um, to think. Uh, something that you're surprised about in Japan. Mm -hmm. I'm written rule. Like, <laughs> uh, are not written, but you are supposed to know if you want to behave as a native person here. Any detail? Adequate or inadequate to do in public, in a public space. I have a question for you. How, how do you perceive, like, I know that Mount Fuji is overcrowded during uh, yeah, the period you can climb it. So, how do you feel about uh, having so many tourists? You know, uh, talking to people from different countries. So, and also I've been to many countries. So I'm hesitation to, you know, mm -hmm. talk with people from different countries. But maybe some people are comfortable to have a lot of foreigners. Mm -hmm. But I think that will really change for the future. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Like, if, for your, if you, in your country, mm -hmm. if there are so many tourists, mm -hmm. what do you think? Uh, I used to, I'm used to um, over tourists. Uh, I lived in Venice in, for six years. And yeah, there are more tourists than uh, citizenship right there. Citizen right here. So crossing the city center, especially during spring or autumn, it's really, really hard because uh, the streets of Venice are very narrow and there is not so much space and you have to walk since there are just like boats and you can go by boat or roll. Having so many tourists that stop uh, to take pictures or ask for information or for when you have to rush to work, <laughs> sometimes it's annoying. So tourists in Venice are not really respectful. Uh, they don't understand that it's a fragile city. Uh, first, you pay attention to the environment, to the in the water. You cannot throw in the water whatever you want because there are not like... Um... I saw some news that during the pandemic, mm -hmm. Venus of water in Venice is kind of 
jellyfish started to appear in the canal. And it's very uh, rare. Then this canal are uh, dirty. Uh, the fact that people of not so many boats, less tourists, heard, like allows the, the water to get clean. Yeah. But my impression, I was asking about like how do you feel about tourists here? Sometimes people, like Japanese people, are annoyed by tourists, especially in public transportation, has the thing like, oh, look at this foreigner that they don't know what respect is. Hmm. And sometimes I can understand because they are really loud or, I don't know, doing things in Japanese person. Uh, but sometimes they are just like doing like what a tourist will do, just like looking around, stopping. Sometimes Japan is uh, returning to be a really touristy uh, spot. Uh, people are starting to get annoyed by tourists. What talk? But you know the fact that Japan has kind of strongest passport, so we can go like without visa mm -hmm. to most of the countries. Oh, yeah. But the yeah. impact, like Japanese people, doesn't have a passport. I forgot how much percent. Mm -hmm. Probably like eighty percent of people don't have passports oh. in Japan. Even though like we can travel to abroad. Mm. We don't actually make an action. Mm. You know? In Japan, they have everything they want and they need, so yeah. they don't find a point to go abroad. Mm. Especially like not young people. I think young people are more curious and want to know like the rest of the world, I guess. But I think like in general, Japanese people travel a lot. But in a domestic or to abroad? Mm. Also, yeah, in general, like in Japan, but also abroad because it's it's easier to find Japanese people. For example, in Italy, it's very common to find Japanese people. In Venice, there are a lot. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Japanese language? Mm. You mark the subject, the object, and so the syntactic part with different particles uh, makes Japanese language sound very like every word the same. <laughs> yeah, ending there. Uh, quite the same or like a set of ending that they repeat itself. It's hard to understand. Uh, sound, for me it sounds quite beautiful. Not melodic, but just like interesting. Or the most interesting part is writing the written Japanese. Yeah. Because of like the kanji, the kana, uh, all mixed together. You can use them all together, like in the same maybe yeah, sentence. Same sentence. Yeah. yeah, it was impressive. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell, right? what is going on, right? Mm. Sometimes, you know, even though like, I am old enough to know the country, sometimes if I see the articles in the news or something like that, I can't still can't understand it. I think it's the same as English, right? you know? Mm. Like, even for like native speakers, some English words, mm. they don't know about us. Even like for Italian as well. The language that have kanjis or like a not syllabic system happen like more frequently. That is syllabic, you cannot uh, have a big vocabulary and still cannot understand what some very uh, complex word means. Yeah. Uh, in Japanese, is that it's not that you don't know the word, it's that, that you don't know the kanji that form these words, even words, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not even sure like how uh, children are taught kanji. Like so, they learn first kana and then kanji, and so yeah. keep learning until they have reached. I don't know. We have some like kanji textbook. Mm -hmm. We call it like every week we have a kanji exam or something like that. So every week we have to run new kanji, like ten new kanji, and each week. Mm -hmm. But first, they know the basic of the kanji. You know, kanji has kind of different parts, mm -hmm. so kind of mixed with, you know, mm -hmm. then it will get easier to remember. Mm -hmm. uh, regarding the kanji, nowadays people don't like know how to write them, right? No, we still have to do that. But okay, now, you know, nowadays, like a PC, tablets, mm -hmm. I think people still have to write the kanji because the business matter or, you know, just the basic of the kanji, we need to write it. Depends on how how much like classic system want to stay conservative. Yes. <laughs> From what I heard, Japanese uh, school system is very strict and very traditional. Children will continue to learn how to handwrite, can do. Uh,